Hello everyone, welcome on Planet Merkaba. I'm Lucy and in this video I decided that we are going to concentrate on the session that you can take anytime before sleep. So if you have difficulties falling asleep, let's try this one. Give it a try, it will be like 20 minutes or so. We will start with sitting position. You may be already in a bed, in your pyjama, which is great. So if you are in a bed, just be aware that your spine is straight, that's all. If you are on a mat, be aware that your spine is straight as well. So we will start with Nadi Shodana, great pranayama again stress it will help you release all the tensions and may help with falling asleep so in the right hand we will bend two fingers you already know point finger and middle finger thumb will close the right and ring finger will close the left <laughs> cool you know so inhale and exhale now bold nostril just to prepare the breath close your eyes and just try to be aware of the breath And one more time, both nostrils. Thumb on the right, and as you exhale, just through the left. Inhale, just through the left. And change, exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Inhale, left. And exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. And exhale right. Just continue with your own pace, inhaling right and then exhaling left. Again, exhaling, inhaling left. And observe the breath. Let's try to make the breath as calm, as smooth as you can. And try to imagine that through the breath, all the tension is melting away from your body, away from your mind, all the negative thoughts, all the pressure inside. And through the breathing you are trying to connect deeper to yourself. Relax not only your body but also the mind. Very great exercise when you feel under the pressure, when you are stressed and you need to catch the breath. Let's take one more round. And we will end up the round with an exhalation through the left. So as you exhale through the left, just release the hand back on your knee and observe the breath, how it's coming back to normal, how is the breathing through the both nostrils right now, what is your feeling inside after the pranayama. And when you're ready, put your feet together, cross all your fingers behind your head, inhale and with an exhalation try to touch your chin in between your collarbones. The rest of the spine is straight and you are just trying to release the weight of your arms to the head. Do not push, do not stress yourself, do not stress your neck. Gently, easy. 
release your shoulders down away from your ears. Breathing with the sound of Ujjayi. And as we inhale, we will rise up. And as we exhale, we will roll the whole spine down. As we inhale, back up. Open the elbows to the side, smile. And as you exhale, you roll again down. Inhale up. Smile again. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And rise your hands above your ears. With an exhalation, release your hands under your calf muscles. You may have to rise your ankles off the floor, off the bed. And go as far as you can go. If this is too far and you can't go like this, it's completely fine that you just stay here. And you're trying to just go forward and forward and lower yourself down with each exhalation. But there is no strength in this. There is just a breath. There is just an exhalation that leads you to the pose. And in the pose where you can be right now, just breathe. very slowly as you inhale go back to the center open your chest with an exhalation put your knees together and strengthen your legs inhale to the chest and as you exhale roll the whole spine down so you can touch forehead and the knees together if you can't and you just stay somewhere like here just bend your knees and do it like that just try to really bend your spine stretch it and breathe in between your scapulas if you are more flexible in the spine just let the legs be locked and breathe in the pose we will stay in Paschimottanasana longer so just take a couple of breaths do not hurry anywhere this is perfect asana before going asleep it's like going back home it's like creating your own safe place and just hiding there for a while that with each exhalation all the stress tensions falling away falling down from your shoulders your lower back and all the unnecessary thoughts with an exhalation is flowing away from your head from your mind so we are trying to clear not only the body but also your mind So there won't be any thoughts that would disturb your sleeping. Very well. And as you exhale, prepare to come back again. Inhale, vertebra by vertebra. Going up. Pachin goes the last. Very well. Exhale. Bend your right knee. And with the left hand, catch the right knee or the right thigh hip as far as you can go it also depends how flexible your spine is but be aware that you are not trying to fall back spine is still straight that, that means that the head is above your hips okay if you are here the head is somewhere you know 
so inhale up to the chest and as you exhale go back look over your shoulder if you are in a bed probably you need to touch behind but if you are on the mat try to release the hand behind your back and breathe to the chest open it and with an exhalation just try to look behind your shoulder one more inhalation exhale back and now as you inhale slowly go back to the center exhale change your legs inhale catch with your right hand your left knee or tie and as you exhale look over the shoulder no pressure or tension in your shoulders and as you're trying to grow up to the ceiling you're growing from this point on the top of the head try not to re re reach the chin up you're trying to reach the top of the head up to the ceiling and head is still above your hips that's important when you're doing rotation very well inhale and as you exhale you can release the legs now it depends if your spine is fine and you're healthy you can go down like this but if the spine is not very well just go through one off one side of your body down but if the spine is fine then just sketch your legs and very slowly vertebra by vertebra go down to the floor great now catch your knees one leg will go closer to you and the other leg will go away and they will do the circles in opposite way and in this point they'll meet again so I'm drawing circles with knees but in different ways in this position they are same like away a part of each other and here they meet a few more and we will change so change the movement reverse and step in the middle with an exhalation release the left hand on the floor cross all the fingers and try to reach your thighs on the abdomen if you feel stiff in the hip you can again try to release the stiffness with drawing circles with the knee few in one side and again you can also reverse to the other side just to release all the tensions in the hip if there is some this is a great exercise to try if there is no tensions you can continue with crossed fingers and as you exhale trying to touch the thigh on your abdomen shoulders on the ground trying not to reach the chin up but more closer to the ground like you want to touch the neck on the floor And with an exhalation we will release the right hand to the side and as we exhale we will catch the right knee and go with the right knee to the left side you look to the right palm and try to have the right shoulder still on the ground and as you exhale your knee is falling down closer and closer to the floor breathing up to the chest And as you exhale, you're releasing all the tension from the spine. One more exhalation. And as you inhale, you go to the center and exhale, changing side. So with the left leg, you also can do some circles to release the tensions in your hip. It's great exercise, even if you feel loose in your hip, just to warm up and heal the whole area try to concentrate in your hip in your pelvis and release with an exhalation 
and then cross all the fingers under your knee on the shin bone and as you exhale bring the tie closer to your abdomen shoulders on the ground and your chin closer to the throat and just breathe And as you exhale, release the left hand to the left side and go with the exhalation with the left knee to the right side. Again, be aware that the left shoulder is still on the ground and you're trying to fall down with the left knee closer to the floor. But do not push yourself anywhere, just breathe through the spine, release all the tensions. You know, coming back to the center, strengthen your legs and we can bend them again, put your feet together and release the knees to the side. If this position is fine, then put your hands above your body, around your body and push to the ground with your feet and rise your hips with an inhalation up. So you're trying to push into the crown with your feet and your shoulders, your head. And if this is comfortable, you can move your hips, move with your knees side to side, right and left, like a boat on the sea, preparing for a nice sleep. Slowly stop in the middle and if you can rise even more up and breathe. One more time up and with an exhalation very slowly release your pelvis on the floor, release your knees to the side and relax your body. Close your eyes. Send your awareness to your left hand, left finger and try to imagine that you are inhaling through the left finger, wrist, elbow, shoulder to the throat and try to imagine that you are exhaling through the right shoulder, elbow, wrist, through the right fingers and you again inhale through the right like you're doing Nadi Shodana to the throat and from the throat you exhale through the left. Inhale through the left arm and exhale through the right arm, right fingers. Inhale right and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left arm to the throat and from the throat exhale through the right arm. Exhale and then inhale through the right and exhale left one more round inhale left and exhale right inhale right exhale left just try to feel the sensation in your arms especially in your wrist in your throat With another exhalation, put your knees together and put your feet more apart. And as you inhale, we will slowly rise the hip off the floor, but not too much, just in one line. Do not push the hips so much. And as you exhale, try vertebra by vertebra, touch the ground again. Hips goes the last. Hands up around your body and as you inhale again vertebra by vertebra up and as you exhale very 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 slowly down inhale up and exhale down with an awareness very slowly two more 
great exercise, not even for, for your spine, but also for your pelvic floor. For your lower back. One more, inhale up. And exhale down. And as you're exhaling, put your hands under your hips, bend your elbows and put the hips on your fingers. Try to strengthen your legs with an exhalation. And as you inhale, rise up on your elbows, open the chest, exhale, try to release your head back and breathe to the chest. Few more breaths. Look on your toes and as you exhale, slowly release your elbows to the side. Cross all your fingers, put them behind your head. And with another exhalation, try to touch your chin in between your collarbones. Look on your toes and try to spread your toes so there's a place in between each toes. Breathe to the chest and then relax your head on the ground. Exhale. Put one hand on your lower abdomen and the other hand on your chest, on your heart center. And then just release to the floor, to your bed. And this is the position I take when I have some difficulties with sleep. When I wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall asleep again. I just put one hand on the lower abdomen, one hand on my heart center and I just observe, I just watch how everything is melting, how I release all the tensions from my body. I always concentrate to send an exhalation to your two legs and hips. Try to also relax your shoulders and arms. Relax your mouth, relax your ears and observe your body melting to your, to your bed or to the floor, preparing for a nice long deep sleep so you will wake up fresh in the morning. I really hope that you enjoyed this before bed practice. I hope that it helped you with the sleeping. I would love to have some comments from you. So if you have anything you would love to share, please write me down or hit me with an email. And see you in the next video. Good night.